Hey everyone, Michael Walters from Team 503. Say, you know, we just went through a power wash at the end of a tournament out here in Lake Winnebago. Um, as many of you may or may not know, uh, I'm a huge proponent for anything that we can do to help protect our, our resources and keep the, the fishing population and our lakes clean and, and fishable for the next generation and those generations thereafter. So, you know, it doesn't take much time. It took me all of about 30 seconds uh, it's a good cause too. There's some Boy Scouts out here a little doing a little fundraising to clean out my live well and, and take care of power wash my boat. It just takes a little bit of effort on all of our parts. I mean, we're the ones, I know I, I left right from a lake, a different lake. I came here, I'm on my way home today. I head to Lake Vermilion tomorrow. You know, I, whatever might be in this system, I don't want to be responsible for bringing that potentially to the next system. So it just takes a little bit of time. It's all of our problems. If we all pitch in and do a little bit of our part, I think it made a big difference. I mean, what we're looking at here, particularly here on Winnebago, you have a lake that's infested with Eurasian water milfoil, a plant, and zebra mussels, a, a bivalve that uh, can also produce microscopic larvae that can get in water. You can't see them. So it could be in water that's in your boat, in your live well, in your motor. So what we're asking boat motors and anglers to do is to drain all the water from their boat, empty those live wells, put the motor down all the way, empty the water out. Then what we're working here with the scouts today is doing a boat wash. And this is just an extra step to make sure all the plants are washed off from the outside. Any of these organisms like zebra mussels or some other microscopic particles on the outside of the boat are all flushed away, that there's no weeds tangled up on the bottom side of the trailer. We get that all washed here, so when the boat goes off to, and the angler goes off to a new body of water to do another tournament, he goes there with a clean boat. So, a few things just to remember. When you pull out of the lake to help make sure you're not transferring invasive species, drain the live wells and all the water out of your boat. Make sure that you drain your motor take all of your live bait and dispose of it in the in the supplied areas of the garbage outside the landing. If you have any questions you can reach Phil at Sea Grant and he can help clear up any uh, any further information that your questions that you might have. Again just a little bit of effort taking a few extra steps might go a long way. Thanks.